my friends out there today we are coming to start with a new topic and our topic for today is plane geometry one when we talk about plane geometry one we are going to talk about angles formed with the use of two lines so if i have two lines which combine to form an angle theta okay so normally these two lines form uh what we call this is an angle and this is the straight line and this is also another straight line so when these two straight lines meet and form an angle okay this is the angle form now the angle form can be calculated by the use of what a protractor but in this case we are going to learn different forms of calculating angles you know we have different types of angles we have what we call acute angle we have the acute obtuse we have the reflex we have vertically opposite angles adjacent angles supplementary angles um a whole lot so today we are going to learn the different types of shapes the different types of shapes where we can calculate the various angles so let's start with a normal straight line so if i should have a normal straight line and i should have an angle in between them okay and i have this angle to be a this angle to be b and this angle to be c we can say that the sum of interior angles the sum of interior angles of a straight line sum up to 180 degrees i know all my students know that because sum of angles on a straight line sum up to 180 degrees so if i should have any straight line and i name this angle 50 degrees and i name this y and i ask you to solve for y you can tell me y plus 50 is equal to 180. then you give me a reason the reason is sum of angles on a straight line on a straight line sum up to 180 degrees so if this is your reason for y plus 50 being equal to 180 we can say y is equal to 180 minus 50 degrees you see the property of equality whatever we do to the left hand side we do the same thing to the right hand side so if i should subtract 50 from the left and 50 from the right i'm going to have 180 minus 50 and this will be zero so y will be equal to 180 minus 50 is 130 so y is equal to 130 degrees. so i'll take several examples and you can also try them out yourself. 